Water Tank Overflow Alarm Water tank overflow is a common problem, which leads to the wastage of water, though there are many solutions to it, like ball valves, which automatically stop the water flow once the tank gets full. Here is a simple and handy DIY solution, that will guide you to make a circuit, which will detect the water level, and will raise an alarm, upon getting the water tank full. These are the components, which are needed in this project. 1 NPN, transistor, BC547, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1 10 kilo ohm resistor, 1 red LED, 2 copper wires, 1 buzzer, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED, from high current and voltage. When the wires are inside the water, then the base terminal of transistor, will get a high signal. When transistor will get a high signal on its base terminal, then it will turn on. This is the symbol of a buzzer, its positive end is connected with a positive supply, and negative end is connected with the transistor. When transistor will turn on, it will connect the negative terminal of buzzer, with the ground, and buzzer will start beeping. When water level is low, and water is not touching the wires, then the transistor will remain off. This 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected to the ground, so this resistor will keep the transistor off. As long as the transistor is off, one end of the buzzer will get positive supply, but the other end will not get the ground, so it will remain off. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. It has a sign of plus on its top. It shows that this side is positive, and the other side is negative. Negative terminal will be connected with the transistor, 
and positive terminal will be connected with the positive supply terminal. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery and test our project. To simulate our project, we will take a plastic jar. We will hang two wires inside the jar. Now we will fill the jar with the water. When the water level will cross the upper wire, then buzzer will start beeping. It indicates that jar is fully filled with the water. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.